Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors. God bless you on this Wednesday, February 7th. Thank you again for taking time out of your schedule to join with me for a time of prayer this morning, this afternoon, or this evening. Amen, amen, amen. So, Wednesday evening service tonight, if you haven't joined this yet, it's online. I'll be sharing on the baptism of the Holy Spirit and why it's an, it's an extravagant gift that God has given to us, a love gift from the Father. It's going to be good, so check it out tonight, 7 p.m. So our Bible reading is Matthew chapter 24. Jesus said, verse 36, But of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. And they did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. And keep reading there. It's got so much good stuff. I could just read this whole part here. But anyway, that's for you to read. Hopefully you're reading through at least the New Testament this year with us, but go ahead and read through the whole Bible. Amen. So we're praying for Idaho in the States today. We're praying for arts and entertainment and sports. Good week to be praying with sports, with the Super Bowl on Sunday and the biggest human trafficking day of the year. Uh, gosh, it's unreal, right? Things, something that could be fun and enjoyable has to always have evil attached to it. And our nation that we're praying for today is Thailand. Thailand. All right, church family, let's go ahead and pray. Father, we come before you in Jesus' name, and we do lift up before you this day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be very, very glad in it. We come to celebrate Jesus, so we praise you and honor you and give you all the praise that you alone deserve our King. You alone are worthy, our King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Abba. We love you, Holy Spirit. You are truly so good to us. We look forward to the eternals. Eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, nor has entered into the heart of man the things that God has in store for them that love him. Oh, we love you. We love you. Lord, we lift up the prayer cards that have come in. I lift the brother up who has lost a son recently, Lord, and I just pray for your peace and comfort over this family in Jesus' name. I pray over the prayer cards that have come in. There's so many needs, so many needs, Father. We pray over these cards. We pray for healing. We pray for deliverance. We pray for marriage situations. We pray for finances. We pray for depression. We pray, Father, for things that are going on in one another, Lord. You said in this world we would have tribulation. Boy, you weren't kidding. We do have tribulations, but we have the grace of God. We know it's not you that causes tribulations. It's not you that brings harm. It's the thief that comes, but not for it to steal, kill, and destroy. You've come that we might have life and that more abundantly. Every good and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of light, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. So we pray over our prayer cards today. We lift them up before you in Jesus' name. Lord, as we lift up our world, we lift up Thailand before you. We also lift up Paraguay, Argentina, Uruguay, Greenland, Iceland, Ireland, the United Kingdom. We pray for the nations of the world, Father. We pray for the needs of people, Lord. Lord, when we see Ireland, 1.5%. Argentina, 11%. We pray for this new president of Argentina. He wants to get things right there. We pray over that land. We pray for those people. We lift up Thailand before you and all that's going on there, Lord, and we pray for the needs of people there, Lord. 
big, lots of population there, 68, 60, uh, 69 million people with only 0.6% evangelical Christians. So we pray for the needs of these people in Jesus' name. Father, we lift up Israel and all that's going on there, and we just pray. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who loves you. Peace be within your walls. Prosperity within your palace. Oh, it's anything but that right now. We pray for the Prince of Peace to come and bring peace to this area. And we thank you. Thank you for that in Jesus' name. We lift up our world before you, Father. So many needs, so many people that have not heard the gospel. Over three billion people. And we pray, Father. We pray for people in Jesus' name. We lift up the United States of America. We begin with Idaho. And we pray for the people of Idaho, 1.8 million people, 21% evangelical Christians. We pray, Father, for those that are in authority. We lift up the executive, legislative, judicial branch. Many evil people, evil, people with an agenda. We see DAs that let criminals just go free in inner city after they beat up policemen, police women. How sinful, how evil can you get? Father, we lift up our police. We lift up our military. We respect them. We don't like getting pulled over when we're speeding, but we respect them for the authority and the job they have. We bind up these evil DA people that are letting murderers and criminals go free, illegal immigrants go free. We bind that up. We bind up the agenda of what's going on as we're getting closer and closer to a world war and it seems like they don't even care. We have a president that doesn't even know who's the president of France. Oh, Lord, we, God help America. We need help. We pray for Idaho and every state. We pray for those that are in authority, again, in the executive, legislative, judicial branch. We pray for governors and mayors that they would put a godly people, people that obey the laws of the land into these different departments when they get elected. Oh, Lord, help us. Help us, Lord, help us. Lord, we lift up different ministries. We lift up CFFC. We pray for our service tonight, Lord. I pray that many people be filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We lift up Hands of Hope, Joyce Myers Ministry, Every Home for Christ, Andrew Warmack, and Karis Bible School. We pray for these great works, Lord. We lift up Christian Missionary Fellowship, Christian Mission in Many Lands, Christian Research Institute, Christians in Action, Christian Mission Society, Church of God World Mission, Church of the Highlands, Pastor Chris Hodges there, great church, Lord. We lift up all these different works, Lord. Now, Lord, I lift up my brothers and sisters, and I thank you for their heart. I thank you, Lord, for the work that they're doing for the cause of the gospel, of giving of their time, giving of their talent, giving of their treasure, Lord, and I thank you for their faithfulness. We lift up again tonight's service. We pray that over the airwaves, Lord, I think about missionaries that send out the word. They used to send it through shortwave radio, and now they have the internet. Use our church in this area, Lord, that we can spread the gospel in a big way, and I thank you for it. Now, Lord, I thank you that you, Lord, you bless us and keep us. Lord, you make your face shine upon us, and you are gracious to us. Lord, you lift up your confidence upon us, and you give us your shalom, shalom. Oh, we worship you now as we wrap up. We praise the name of Jesus, Abba, Father, and the Holy Spirit. We thank you for your infilling. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for all that you have done, all that you're doing. You're so good to us. You're so good to us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 
Isn't God good? Look at all the names of our Lord. Amen. Light of the world, Redeemer, the Lord, King of kings, Lord of lords, Alpha and Omega, Bread of life, Lamb of God, Savior, author and finisher of our faith, and so much more. We serve a good God. God bless you. See you tonight, 7 p.m. It's going to be a refreshing on the baptism of the Holy Spirit, talking about God's extravagant love. It's going to be good. Invite others. Have a church time online. God bless.